Don't mess up the sound, though. I'm not, but it pushed your tie out. There we go. We got one more setting up still, folks, so. Okay. So if everybody is ready, my name is Sergeant Rick Hernandez. That's R-I-C-K-H-E-R-N-A-N-D-E-Z. I'm the public information officer for the Surprise Police Department. So this morning, just after 1130, officers from the Surprise Police Department responded to the area of 168th Avenue in Jenin in regards for an unknown trouble. Upon arrival, officers were able to contact a female who reported she was being held hostage by her baby's father in a nearby residence. The female reported that her baby was six months old, still inside the residence with the child's father, and she believed the baby was in danger. Officers responded to the residence, and upon arrival, they heard multiple rounds of gunfire coming from inside the residence. Officers who had confirmed that that baby was inside the residence believed that baby was in danger. Those officers forced entry and were able to rescue that baby. That baby sustained multiple gunshot wounds and was airlifted to a nearby hospital with serious injuries. Again, officers heard sounds of gunfire from inside that residence. Officers were not injured or struck. They moved past that threat, continued into that threat to rescue that child. Upon rescuing that child, they rendered first aid and then they were able to get that child to a landing zone to where it could be airlifted for further additional care. With that, we contacted multiple SWAT teams because our officers, when they entered, they did not contact the suspect. The suspect was not engaged with them when they entered. The officers did not fire their weapons at any time during this incident. They pulled back, set up perimeters, and contacted multiple area SWAT teams to respond. Currently on scene, we have members of the Surprise Police Department SWAT team, Goodyear SWAT team, Peoria SWAT team. We also have negotiators from Surprise Police Department, Goodyear Police Department, and the Phoenix Police Department. This is an ongoing active situation. Right now, I want the public to know that there is no threat. This is isolated to this particular residence. This was a domestic violence incident in which, unfortunately, a child was severely injured. Our officers and our detectives will be on scene for several hours. This, like I said, is still an ongoing active investigation with negotiations currently happening to get the subject to surrender. With that, I'll open it up to any questions. The suspect is currently inside by himself. The woman was able to free herself from the residence. She actually contacted a construction crew here nearby to use their phone to call us. So there's only one house involved. Uh, I don't know where she contacted that construction crew, but there was a crew. You can see this is a, a new home development. Uh, my understanding, ma'am, is she had been in that house being held captive by hostage by her child's father for multiple hours. She was able to get herself free, and then she was able to contact law enforcement by using the phone number of a construction worker. We, we believe the suspect is still inside the residence. When the officers entered the residence, they did not contact him. They found the baby and rescued the baby. That became their priority. So when we're looking for priorities of life for, for officers, when we're engaged in a situation like this, hostages and innocents are always that first priority. They found a, an injured baby. Uh, they then moved to remove that baby. They believe when they entered that residence, there was a baby inside and the suspect inside. Once we remove that baby, our protocols are typically to then hold our perimeter positions and then contact additional resources for SWAT negotiations. But at any point, did the officers ever come into contact with the suspect? No, sir. So this is a very new development, as you can see. 
The uh, suspect does not live in this residence. This residence is the uh, victim and her baby's residence. The suspect does not live at the residence here. Uh, we do not have any history that I'm aware of with this suspect. Um, but again, we have multiple agencies here that are coordinating to share information and, and learn all we can about them. I don't have that information at this time. You said multiple hours. Uh, can you give us an idea of how many hours before she was able to escape? So she reported that uh, she doesn't know the exact time, but he broke in early morning hours. She wasn't able to make a 911 call to law enforcement until 1130. Was the woman injured in any way besides the baby? She sustained minor injuries. So she was treated on scene and then transported to be with her baby. The method of entry, ma'am, I, I don't know. Um, most of the time with uh, us and Surprise Police Department, we are equipped with a number of tools, uh, ballistic shields, uh, breaching tools, most likely because this was made by a combination of patrol and SWAT assets, uh, it was most likely made through some type of device to enter a front door. Is this a one-story or a two-story house? Uh, I believe this is a one-story house. And like I said, this will be uh, an ongoing investigation. We expect to be out here for several hours. Um, and as new information becomes available, we'll make ourselves available to you. Okay? Thank you.